Are you all here with me? We'll continue lesson one, introduction to living things. So what are the five characteristics that all living things share? Any idea? The characteristics that all living things they share among each other. Although there are many different also. Hello, can you all hear me? At least say me yes or no. Tell me what are common things in living, all living things, like in plants and in animals and you. What are the common things? Um, they feel and um, they, they, they grow. All living things are. Yeah, and they grow. Do you think so? They all are made of cells. What? All are made up of cell, cell, C E L. Yeah. The basic unit of all living organism is a cell that contains all of the materials necessary for life. They are the smallest unit of life. Girls, I'm quickly going to do this lesson because everything of this lesson has been covered. Now, most cells are so small that you cannot see them. The membrane that surrounds the cell, what is it called? It's called the cell membrane. Like I told you, the door and the walls protect you from the outside world. Like that, every cell has a cell membrane which separates the cell contents from its environment. Unicellular organisms are made up of... What, are, what is the other name of unicellular organism? Who will say me? What, Miss? What is the other name given to unicellular organism? What is the other name? Prokaryote or eukaryote? What is it? Prokaryote. Yes, prokaryotes are unicellular organism made up of one cell. Multicellular organisms are made up of more, one or more cells that are also called as eukaryotes. Multicellular, like us, we have trillions of cells and each of them, they have their own function. Now, don't you think so? Mostly all living things, they have ability to sense the change in the environment and to respond to the change. Even plants, when they cannot talk, but they respond to sunlight, the flower bend that gives you the response. Any change that affects the affect the activity of an organism is called. Like right now, if you hear a blast or if, you, if your brother comes and pinches you, if your sister comes and pinches you or hits you, ouch, that's my response. So your brother hitting you, that is the stimulus and the way you reacted to stimulus is the response. There are two things, whatever change that affects the change that affects the activity of an organism that is called as a stimulus. A stimulus can be gravity, it can be light, sound, a chemical, hunger, or anything else that causes an organism to respond in some way. Anything it can be a light, it can be a sound somebody giving you something to taste and that taste, your hunger, anything else that causes organism to respond is nothing but it's called as stimulus. Conditions inside an organism's body must stay relatively constant. The reactions which are going inside my body are keeping me alive and can help only when conditions are exactly right. Whenever my brain, my heart, my kidney, all they function properly, then only my body remains alive, right? If your functions are not properly, you'll be sick and finally we die. We have to, you remember the word homeostasis? I told yeah. you, remember the word that this balance? It must maintain the still internal condition to survive. Your body has to maintain balance yourself according to the environment. So this maintenance is called 
homeostasis. I'm not going to explain again because the whole lesson I have told you about homeostasis. Organisms make other organisms through the process of reproduction. They make other organisms like through asexual or through sexual. And whenever organisms reproduce, what do they do? They pass the copies of all the part of their DNA to the offspring. We have been studying that how the DNA comes from the parent to the son or daughter or flower to a flower, how it copies that DNA and comes to the offspring. What is the full form of DNA? Deoxy ribonucleic acid. If you want to note it down, girls, deoxy ribonucleic acid. It is a genetic material that controls the structure and function of the cells. Girls, am I going fast? No, miss. No, miss. And what I'm teaching? It's all like revision, cell, DNA. So offspring shares, share characteristics with their parents because they receive DNA from their parents. We look like our parents. We are similar to them because we have characteristics from both of our parents. Living things reproduce using sexual or asexual reproduction. And if it's two parent, what is it called? Two parent, it is called as? Um, us. Sexual reproduction. And again, each spring receives part of its DNA from each parent. Most animals and plants, plants they reproduce using sexual reproduction. When I say single parent, it is a six one. They get an exact copy. Here they don't get exact copy. They get, they are similar because they get from both. So parents. if it's a parent without mm -hmm. offspring, without offspring, that means asexual. But the a parent with offspring, that means sexual reproduction, no. right? No, 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 no. A, mm -hmm. a single parent, the offspring with single parent is asexual. The offspring with both parent is sexual. This is what. Oh, uh, so yeah, I understand. Cellular organisms and some plants. See, one cell, those are usually using asexual reproduction. Two methods of asexual reproduction are binary fission and budding. You remember I, I showed you budding, vegetative budding, the potato? Yeah. I, have yeah, it. Have I it. found a potato in down uh -huh. that is like yours, Miss. Really? One minute, let me bring it. Okay, bring it. And even binary fission, I have shown you the process. A unicellular organism splits into two parts during binary fission, and the new part itself grows bigger and becomes an organism. During budding, a new organism grows on parent organism until it is ready to separate. Like I have showed you, shown you vegetative bedding, budding. The vegetable grows from the other vegetable, right? Yeah. One minute, girls, I think. Miss, I found it. See? Show me, show me. Yes, wow. That has a lot of, yes, this is like vegetative body. One minute, one minute. Show it to me again. I will There's a lot, Miss. There's a lot. Yes, you have lots of, yes, you have lots of uh, yeah. buddings here coming out. That if you put It's it weird, Miss. The soil is like, Soft and squishy and... Yes, if you put it in the soil, it will grow. It will give you more potatoes. Yeah. Okay. So now... 
One minute. Living things need to carry activities of life. Energy allows organisms to make or break down food. If we don't have, where do we get energy from? When we eat food, from it's food. Down. Yes, it breaks down and it gives energy to the cell and builds the cells. Energy also. Because the, anim the plants do the food from the sun and get energy. Yes. Then the animal gets energy from yes. the plant. Then we get food chain. energy from animals. Very good. Excellent, Yavatim. This is food chain going on. This is food chain going on. Plants convert energy from the sun into food, which they store in their cells until they need to use it. An organism that cannot make their food must eat other organisms to gain energy. Some eat plants, others eat animals. You know how it food chain, herbivores, carnivores, omnivores. Remember all these words? Herbivores, yeah. eating plants, carnivores, eating yeah, yeah. animals, omnivores, also the ones who eat plants and people. animals. The one who eat people, people who eat people. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember Maria said something about <laughs> the one who eat, eat people. non veg or only meat. <laughs> it's not only people here, dear. They can tigers can eat people. Tigers can eat other animals. Those are. No, I mean humans eat humans. Yeah, <laughs> whenever you will, you will <laughs> read about this topic, you will miss Maria. Yeah. yeah. Which school, yeah, she, miss. which school is she going? I don't know, I but don't uh, know. she's and Asian, I think, in the same school. Yeah, and you must and Tyler and Rifai go to the, school, to the old school. Going to? Education. Okay. Uh, Educates. I was with uh, Tyler once. Educates. Okay. What characteristic do living things share? They reproduce, they grow. See how they have changed. Shown. It was uh, an egg, it popped out, it grows big, and they are ready to reproduce. Almost all organisms need water, air, food, and a place to live in order to survive. You know that water is very most essential for life. Cells are most made of water and chemical reactions of cells require water. What do we need to survive? Air, water, and of course our body and cells, they use oxygen. And, the, and then plants use carbon dioxide, what we give out. I'm almost about to finish the lesson, wow. I don't think so, there's even a, even a line which is very tough, it's very simple. Yeah, and you took it. Provides organisms yeah. with energy and nutrients that they need to survive. A place to live, we need shelter to protect ourselves and to keep us away from the harmful, harmful things. Organisms often compete. They go they, they compete for food, water, and the best place to live. You know, these animals, when they stay in a place, they, they, com they compete. There's a competition for food, for water, and the place they live. And what does food give us? Energy and nutrients. Nutrients are nothing but carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins. Fruits, vegetables, grains provide carbohydrates. Nuts and fats provide lipids. Meats, nuts, and vegetables provide proteins. You know that when I say carbohydrates, you know, grains and like potato, pasta, wheat. Yeah, yeah and rice, and I say proteins, you know, meat, chicken, fish. Producers, producers are always plants, plants, producers. Plants and how they make their own food. Plants and how they use energy from sun to make food. Consumers such as deer, mice, and eagles eat other organisms. Decomposers such as worms and fungi break down dead organisms or waste to get food. Almost everything is done, girls. 
Now this is the end of the lesson. Inshallah, tomorrow I will just show you the video and we'll not do we will not do anything. Yeah, Miss Miss. Um uh, uh in lesson four and I want the uh,